The Last Unicorn, a beautiful song written by Jimmy Webb for a wonderful movie that came out in the 80s. And if you've never heard of the movie or never seen it, it's a fantastic movie with a proud and strong heroine who is a unicorn. And she saves the day. She really does. And the music's wonderful by America. So without further ado, let's jump right into this lesson on how to learn The Last Unicorn. On your cello. A first very important rule is knowing exactly what key this is in, which is in C minor. Remember, if you do not know what that is, there's a card in the top right of your screen. Check it out and come back to this video. You need to know your C minor scale. The bowing is very long and flowing. To make sure it's smooth, be aware of the motion in the arm prior to playing the note. Here, save your bow, then down bow, shift in the slur. Nice and smooth bow strokes throughout this entire piece. That's about it for the bowing. Let's jump into these fingerings. We start in the lower second position, which is here, one on the C natural, three on the D natural, four on the E flat, marked as a plus four. If you are unfamiliar with the lower second position, I highly suggest you check out the card in the top right of your screen and then return to this video. That starts, of course, here in the lower second position, then in that first measure, shifting back to 4, 2 on the C natural, doing the extension 2, minus 1, 4, 2, continuing with the C, minus 1, 4, minus 1. A nice big stretch for that. And then you repeat it again, shifting up to the lower second position. Here you remain in the extended because you place your two and then shift quickly up to the lower third position here in measure nine. If you are unfamiliar with the lower third position, which starts one on the D natural, there is a card in the top right of your screen. Take a look at it and return to this video. So this starts here, two on the C, shifting up one on the D, two, 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 all those are E flats, then a one crossing over B flat with a four, four, then one, four, shifting up to the C natural. That is in the fourth position on the D string. And of course, if you are not familiar with that, there is that card, you know what to do. We start here in the four, 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 then a two on the B flat, that is measure 11 and measure 12. We begin here four on the F natural on the G string. Continuing it's one, two, four, one, two, four, that is G, A flat, B flat, G, A flat, B flat, crossing over to the E flat, doing it again, and then shifting back to lower second position for the four, which is an A flat, Three, three, one. Mm -hmm. 
The melody changes in measure 32, where we will begin with the pickup. I will play it for you and then explain the fingerings. Now this starts of course in the lower third position, starting pickup to 32, one on the G natural, two on the A flat, four on the B flat, crossing over, two on the E flat, four, four, which are F naturals, and then one, two, two, those are E flats. Then you go to fourth position, two on the B flat, four on the G natural, then two on the F natural, staying there for the 16th note, shifting back to lower third position, two, one, two. Here's my counts for playing this song, measure 35, put your two, on the B flat and the four on the G natural. It's very clean, crisp, and beautifully crossed. You cannot hear a slight change of fingering. That's the way you would like to play it. If you're interested, I did do some ad-libbing at the end of the piece. If you wanna know how that went, it's starting measure 61, two on the E flat, then one, shifting over, four, four, that's, that is on the D string, on the B flat, one, four, slide up to four, in the fourth position now here, on the C natural, four, four, two, and then crossing over, playing a four on the F natural, two, one, on the D, shifting back first position, two, four, four, ending on two. Starting here in the lower third position, measure 61 on the E flat. With so many untruths that are happening in this world, there is a need to keep your word. And I promised one of you guys I would teach this lesson, and I did. So thank you for reminding me, a promise made and a promise kept. Thank you for watching this video. Of course, if you are new here, consider subscribing. This is something I do every single week, sharing with you wonderful songs from movies, from classical music, and from all sorts of other genres, even some French songs. If you know someone who is struggling and would like to learn more and doesn't have a teacher, would you share this channel with them? I would appreciate it. And if you learned something today, leave a like. Thank you again for watching my video. Here is some more content on this channel that you might be interested in. And I do hope that you consider sticking around and learning with us here on the Cello Coach channel.